Hey, what's going on, everyone? I, I am J.A. Dudley. I have had so many, yeah, so many different uh, ways of life that I have lived. I, I think there is some type of consistency uh, with everything that I've done over my life, like being truthful, being honest, not lying to people, not trying to take advantage of people. Hey, I've always done my best or tried my best to keep my my ego in check. I, I, I've always had a confidence with everything that I've done or I have tried to get out of here, fly, trying to fly in my mouth. I've always tried to uh, build up and learn from people that are better than me so that I can bring other people up. I never wanted to, hey, other puppy. Hey, all, I came out here on the porch and now all the puppies are... <laughs> well, not all of them. Two of them came up here because they heard my voice. But I, I have a confidence about myself, but that's only because I have either studied or uh, gotten better with anything that is that I'm doing. Like even here with YouTube, I've been on YouTube for years and now I am talking more more with confidence. It's not that I have an ego or I don't know how to keep my ego in check. It is because I, since I moved out here to Oklahoma, I've put in more reps and sets with things. It, uh, the YouTube stuff was me trying to build a persona to try and get sponsorships and everything is like, Oh, he's personable. We'll slap our name on his shorts and and give him some money and that's how that will go. I was trying to I was trying to build up a confidence so that I could be marketable. Now it's been so many years so since I've had to do something like that. Now that I am marketable, but I'm marketable to other people for different reasons. I have learned how to recognize when people's egos are getting out of line or they can't figure out how to keep them in check. And sometimes I have to step in and check their egos because that stuff is coming over towards me instead of them trying to have some type of bravado and push this false sense of confidence, they become very boisterous about things that they don't know how to do or they can't do well. And they just try and, they try and out talk you on certain things when they don't know what it is that they're talking about. It's kind of like what was going on with the uh, Joe Rogan, Terrence Howard and Eric Weinstein thing. Eric Weinstein continued to let uh, Terrence, I mean, yeah, Eric Weinstein continued to let Terrence Howard know, stop trying to teach because you don't know what it is that you're talking about. But if you have questions, I'm here to answer them. So Terrence had to slowly lower his ego with that false sense of confidence because he was so confident of all the things that he was bringing to the table, trying to completely change science, trying to completely change math, trying to change physics, trying to change geometry and really bring something new to the table. But Eric Weinstein appreciated what he was trying to bring new to the table, but he didn't subordinate his ego. He didn't come to the table with some type of, uh, some type of asking for help. He would tell people. So Eric had to continue to say, stop teaching people. 
you recognize this in so many different aspects of life. Like I am not, uh, well, I don't even know if my, um, my certifications for being a personal trainer had, I had, I haven't used those certifications in years, almost decades at this point, because the last time that I was certified as a personal trainer was, uh, between that transition from me playing semi-pro football to becoming a, a, a fighter. And that was 20 years ago. So everything has changed. I'm, uh, I only know how to do not from the books, but from actually doing things. How do you lose weight? Uh, can a person that has lost weight that has done it safely, that has done it recklessly, uh, are they able to teach? Are people that have done the fit fitness training, have done the cardio and conditioning, that have stepped in a cage, teach how to fight? Some can, but those have to have empathy for those that don't know what it is that they're doing. They have to subordinate their ego, not just go out there and like, oh, you want to learn how to fight? Cool. Let me beat the crap out of you and see if you really want this, uh, to see if you're worth my time and in investing into you. A lot of people don't, uh, don't do that. They, uh, they will try and bring you up slowly so that you can get to their le level if they have confidence in themselves. But if they have an ego, oh, I'm, I'm going to show you all the flashy stuff that I can do to try and intimidate you to make you lower than me. As opposed to saying, hey, well, I remember when I was in your shoes. I remember when I couldn't throw 20 punches, when I had no conditioning, where I... I had two left feet and didn't know how to throw a punch. I remember those days. For me, that was 20 years ago. Now, I, I breathe and think how to fight. Every, every time I go to shake somebody's hand, oh, all I have to do is grab here and then I can uh, complete a judo throw or I can do a takedown here or now I'm out of range. Now I'm in their punching range. That, that little bit, just based off of looking at someone, I'm always sizing someone up because I've, ha I've done that for 20 years of learning, of learning, of learning. And that's what built my confidence. Right now, I'm, what, 300 pounds? I'm not in fight shape, but I can still fight. I still have enough conditioning to take the average person out. Somebody that, uh, that has the same skill level of me or uh, a maximum effort of conditioning, they might be able to outwork me, but I have that 20 years of experience to know how to play it safe. I don't have an ego about that. All that is proven. I know what I can do. I don't have, I'm not going to say to people like, oh, uh, if you want to know how to fight, you have to learn it from me. Or I'm the only one that knows how to fight. No. But I do have the confidence in saying like, hey, everyone that's around me, None of you know how to throw a proper punch because none of you ha have needed to th uh, throw a prop mm, words. Uh, none of you have needed to throw a proper punch. Right? That's what is that? Peter Pickle Pub, Piper Pick a Pick up. Yeah. I, I don't even know what that, um, that vocal exercise is, but if you haven't needed to throw a punch, why or how would you know how to throw a punch? That's what I'm here for. Puppy just laid down and went to sleep right in front of me and now having a dream or something. I, 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but I have nothing to prove with everything that I have. Just like with this house, I have nothing to prove. Pastor Bear or Bear Independent on YouTube, uh, TJ Morris. When I was questioning myself about getting this house, he looked at me and said, you have nothing to prove. You have done it all. I, I've lived in a semi-truck. I've lived in a van. I've lived in a camper. I've lived completely off-grid using solar. I've done it all. Only thing that I haven't done is go into the forest with an ax, chop down trees, and clean them off, and then make a log cabin myself. That's the only thing that I haven't done. I've wired up houses before. I, uh, I do everything except for dealing with insulation. No, insulation sucks. I, I just won't, no, that's, it's not happening. I'll pay somebody to do a spray foam, but I am not dealing with fiberglass insulation, no. But that's, that's where I have that confidence in everything else that I, I do. Like we have a community, it's like, hey, we're doing this type of stuff. Uh, like, okay, I can pick up heavy things, I can swing a hammer, I can kind of do uh, plumbing. I can definitely do electric. I can climb up a ladder. I can pull stuff. I can hold stuff. I'm not doing insulation. That's based off of my experience. No, that's not happening. That's not me having an ego saying that I'm better than someone that is doing something like that. No, it is me recognizing where my limits are. Some people have these limits inside themselves, but that's based off of their arrogance. They have an arrogance and saying like, oh, I'm too good for that. Why, why would I have to do something like that? Well, why are you here? Like, why do you feel as though that you're that much better than everyone else? That makes absolutely no sense. You need to check your ego. Like, oh, well, I, I, I've done this and I've done that and uh, you should do it this way. Well, is that way proven? Have you done that 10,000 times? Oh, no, I, I've seen it done before, but have you done it? And you have this ego about it saying that this needs to happen that way. Hmm. Okay. So if we tried your way and it fails, what are we supposed to say then? Are we just supposed to say, oh, okay. Or should you come to the table and say, well, I've heard about doing it this way. I would like to try it this way. But if anyone here has more experience at that, please bring that to the table before we start. See, that's having confidence and being humble when other people have the skills that you don't, but you have the ego with no skills to back it up. What are you going to do when people look at you and say, oh, that person is untrustworthy because they can't let go of being the better man. They're ready to just throw it all away and they would rather everyone fail because their ego gets the best of them. Don't let that happen. Don't let your ego get the best of you. Smile looking at the sleeping puppy. <laughs> and then he just turned over on his back. Get rid of your ego. Live life with nothing to prove. Smile every day. 
Say thank you to the Father. Shalom.